Iran plans to hold joint naval exercise at the end of 2020. Iran's Navy Admiral warns United States naval forces that they are under observation. Iran's Navy Commander-in-Chief Hossein Khanzadi has warned the United States naval forces in the Middle East that all United States military movements in the region are under observation. We closely monitor all United States moves in the region, including the Indian Ocean, claimed the Admiral. Iran's naval forces closely watch United States vessels movement in the region. Even the name of the commander of each American vessel, what eligibility criterion went through, and his idiosyncrasy are archived in the databases of the Islamic Republic of Iran. We observe the United States Navy fleets from the origin to destination, where they get the ropes from the ship to the pier when docking, he declared. Using a special methods that we achieved so far, we observe them point to point until reaching their destination. The United States Navy forces imagine that they are safe when the vessels are docked 600 to 700 kilometers away from our waters, but they all make mistakes as we monitor them at the moment, expressed the chief. Pointing joint war exercise, he said, the Caucasus 2020 military exercise is underway in which a number of countries already joined as two of our ship-based missile launchers were dispatched to the Caspian Sea. We plan to hold a joint naval exercise with other countries at the end of 2020, he added. In early April, IRGC Major General Mohammad Hossein Bagheri also said the regime's military forces are closely monitoring all movement by the United States military in the region. The Islamic Republic of Iran's Navy forces are monitoring all United States moves in the Sea of Oman and the Persian Gulf. RGC Iran Tasim News quoted Rear Admiral Tangsri in May. Two weeks ago, the chief of Iran IRGC threatened on Saturday to go after everyone who had a role in the terrorist general's January killing during a United States drone strike in Iraq. Mr. Trump, our revenge for our great general's murder is obvious serious and real. The IRGC website quoted Jen Hossein Salami. United States President Donald Trump, in response to the threats, warned that Washington would harshly respond to any Iran's regime attempts to take revenge for the death of its terrorist general, Qasem Soleimani. President Donald Trump warned if Iran IRGC tweeting that if they hit us in any way, any form, written instructions already done, we're going to hit him thousand times harder. Last year, the Islamic Republic of Iran's army held a four-day joint military exercise in the Indian Ocean and the Gulf of Oman as a focal point of geopolitical tensions in 2019, amid ongoing friction in the economically important region between Tehran and Washington. The maritime drill, which was held in late 2019, was the first such trilateral exercise as Tehran seeks to boost military cooperation with the United States' fiercest rivals Beijing and Moscow amid unprecedented economic sanctions from the White House. The joint military exercise was more successful for United States rivals than the Islamic Republic of Iran as they have always sought to fight for their hegemony over the entire region, especially the strategic waters in southern Iran. Islamic Republic of Iran's propagandist minister Mohammad Javad Zarif called the exercise Hormoz Peace Plan. Tehran seeks peace by conducting war exercises in the region as well as bolsters its proxies throughout the Middle East. The war games cause not only peace but also make the region more unstable.